What's up guys, it's your boy Julius with Exclusive back at it with another video on Project Jixer. We got the motor swap going. This is gonna be part two of the motor swap, all right? We've got Project Jixer right behind me, right here. Check it out, it's all stripped, motors out. We got the new motor right there in the crate. So it's time to get it going. It's pretty much ready to go. I got a couple things I still gotta do. We'll get to it in a second. And uh, let's check out the new motor in a minute too, all right? Let's get to it. All right, so here we are with Project Jixer. Again, this is a 2009 Jixer 600. I had some issues with the stator and the rectifier a couple of times. And uh, instead of spending seven, 800 to do the repairs on the stator and the rectifier for the second time, actually the third time, I decided I'm gonna just swap it to the 750. Um, so I got a engine from a 2011 750 going in. Um, so far, everything is stripped out. I am gonna be cutting this chain off. The gearing is a little bit different on the 750. So that chain will be cut off. I thought I could probably save it, but the sprockets on the 600 are 16 front, 43 back. And on the 750 2011, it is, I wanna say 17 front, 45 back. Don't quote me on that, but it is different. So I do know I'm gonna have to replace that chain. Um, here, I finally figured out what these are called. Video one, I kept calling it the intake manifold. Uh, I was mixing it up with something on my truck or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, these are the throttle bodies. Um, I do have to take these throttle bodies off. The engine came with brand new throttle, or not brand new throttle bodies, but they came with throttle bodies. Um, so I will be taking those off. And uh, let's go check it out. All right, here we are. This right here is the 2009 600 engine. This right here is the 2011 750 engine. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. No one told me this was gonna work. Sounds good, doesn't work, never gonna happen. No one said this engine was gonna fit. I don't know anything about it. Um, looking at them, they look very similar, but I do know in 2011, they made some changes to the, uh, to the way the engine sits in the frame. So I have no idea if this is even going to fit. Um, I bought it on a whim and I'm just, I just figured I'd try it out. So basically this is a 2011 750 motor. It came out of a crashed bike. Um, I don't know the miles on the bike, but the bike was actually taken pretty well care of from what I could see. It was a front end crash. Um, the cluster was damaged in the crash, which is why I don't know what the mileage is. Um, but as you can see here, it's got a can and air filter, which are can and oil filter. So they changed the oil at least once. Um, they had the original air filter in the uh, in the intake, or which is sitting over there next to the other one. Um, and yeah, that's going to be a. That's from what I can see. That's the main difference that I'm looking at is that intake box is slightly different. Um, the ECU sits in the front on the 2011, where on the 2009, it sits under the seat. And since it was a front end crash, um, wait a minute, I lost it. I know it's around here somewhere, here it is. The ECU is cracked. So this is not gonna be the ECU that stays in the bike. I'm gonna see if this bike even works, if this motor even fits in there, and if I can even get it started before I start buying ECUs uh, painting covers and all that good stuff. I'm just gonna see if this even works out. If it doesn't work out, then hey, I've got a uh, 750 motor that just sits here and I lost uh, 1200 bucks, but whatever, I figured it was worth it. Um, also, the other difference is the speedometer. The uh, cluster for the 2011 is de very different from the 2009. So I don't know if it has the same plug, if it's gonna fit in the housing, or if I could just use the one that will fit. So this is a complete whim. I have no idea about anything. I heard one guy who say he made this work and I went off of that one thing and <laughs> bought it. So um, the other thing I don't know is I have the 600 and I have a full exhaust Yoshimira um, and I don't know if that's gonna line up. I hope it does because it's a full exhaust and I can't afford another full exhaust right now. That one came with the bike that I have. Um, but if it doesn't fit, I might have to go find a stock one um, somewhere off of another crash bike or something because I cannot afford a full exhaust right now. So that's where we are. That's what we'll be doing. Um, 
we will try to get this in there and I'm by myself so I have no idea how I'm gonna make that happen but we will figure it out um, I guess I'll start cutting this chain off like I said um, getting that throttle body off and switch it to the new one and uh, we'll figure out how to get this in out so far as you can see I'm sweating it's hot out here in Florida it's humid I feel like I just went swimming but uh check it out I'll show you what I got going on so my plan was to put it on that roller stack it up take the back wheel off and kind of lift the bike onto the engine and uh yeah nothing's lining up so either this thing really doesn't fit or this method really isn't working what I really think I'm gonna have to do is uh, take off the front wheel. And uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, hopefully I don't have to take off the entire front clip. But honestly, at this point, <laughs> there's not much left to take off, so if I have to, so be it. So yeah, that's where I'm at. That was my plan. Plan did not work. So uh, engine install part two, this is a fail. So as I said, I'm learning with you guys. If you guys ever try to do it, this one, did not work for me <laughs> if you have a way to do it if you figured it out if you've made this work please let me know how you did it because um i'm really freaking close i wonder if i can get in here and show you uh, see if i can get a good view so on the other side i have to get the screw you see that hole there let's see if we can get it to all right so yeah there's a hole back there that has to go through here and out of here. So I'm really close. I've even had it lined up on that side, but it doesn't line up on this side. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just because this keeps happening. The wood falls off. Uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, I'm pretty close. I do think this engine is going to fit. Um, I pray it's going to fit because if not, that would be a waste and this would be a fail. <laughs> so Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it and uh, time to take off this front wheel, this front clip or whatever it is, you guys will see. So here's the plan I came up with now. Um, I took the front wheel off and basically now I can move the motor or the, the frame of the bike side to side, front to back without the wheels being on. I am almost there. I mean, I am literally, let me see how close I can get in here. Uh, can we get in there? It's almost lined up. I mean, you can see that that hole far in the back over there, it's almost covered up. It's almost there. It's going to give. I just got to get a little more leeway somewhere. So I'm going to keep playing with it, but um, it's going to get there. And uh, it looks like this thing might just fit. Um, so we'll keep playing with it and see, uh, see how it works. So yeah, that's where I'm at. And uh, keep it going. Good news, I'm sweating, it is hot. I had a long day of work, came out here to mess with this bike, but the motor fits in the frame. So everybody out there, 2008, nine, and 11, the motors fit in the frame. Let me show you what I got going on. All right, so here's what I did. Like I said, I took the wheel off, Took both wheels off front and back and I kind of had to teeter it on the wood. Um, I'm here by myself so I kind of had to make things as I go. Um, I was able to get the front mount in where this is where the uh, sliders go into. Um, I stuck a screwdriver in there. Hopefully I did not mess up those threads too bad. Um, it wasn't too hard to go in. I just kind of slid it in. So I got this one first. Um, and I got this one second. So they're still not straight enough to put the bolts through, but they are there. So then I come back here and I take a look and check it out. Is it here? There it is. The hole is right there. That's what she said. <laughs> so the freaking engine fits in the frame. So the first worry is out the window. 
2009 Jixer 750 or no sorry 2009 Jixer 600 frame fits a 2011 Jixer 750 engine so the first worry is out the window now my only other worries are the exhaust and the wiring computer all that good stuff other than that this is fitting all right I'm gonna get back to it. Hopefully I can get the wheels back on it by the night. Um, but I'm honestly, I'm kind of tired. So I might just roll this thing over. It doesn't really feel like it's unstable. And even if it falls, it's just the frame. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it at this point, but uh, I don't know. We'll see if I get the wheels on it. See if I can get these screws through there um, and uh, keep it going. All right, guys, this thing is in there. I've got the top screw here. It's all the way in. The other side has the bolt on it. Um, I didn't explain how this whole thing actually works here. Um, so I will, oh, I wasn't even on the camera. Let me get back on there. Um, there's a special thread back there, um, a special tool that I had to use. You can make them, um, but I just bought mine off the of eBay just because it was just easier for me, but this is what it is. Somebody uh, took a 7 8 socket, um, let's get this to zoom, and kind of cut into it so it fits those four grooves that you see there. What that does is um, pushes the engine over and lines up the chain. Um, so yeah, you gotta push those over. That's top and bottom down here. So that's what that's for. Um, I didn't really explain that when I was taking the engine out as far as what tool is necessary and stuff like that. I was worried about not having it, but it was pretty easy to find on eBay. Um, but the sun's going down, it's getting late. I've got work in the morning. So I've got the two screws in. Um, I'm working a little messier than usual today just because I was getting frustrated. So I lost the uh, nut for this side. So as I clean up, I'm sure I'll find it. But I'm going to just call it a day for the day. I'm just happy this thing fits and uh, on to the next uh, to the next project for it. So I think next is, uh, well now i got to figure out how I'm going to get these <laughs> wheels back on because the bike is heavy now. Um, but yeah, let me back up so you guys get a full look of it. There it is. Uh, putting motors in by yourself, man, it's tough, but it's, it's going on. So I probably put the front wheel on get the stand back on it and uh, lift it up with the back stand and that's probably what I'll do so that'll be next I got to make this thing roll again and uh, get that engine all the way screwed in and from there I'll uh, wire it up so all right guys on to uh, see you guys tomorrow to uh, keep going with this project later <laughs>